Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with the final material pack before I take a break from material packs and work on something else like tutorials and courses and all that good sort of stuff. But this is the last one and I've really, really pushed the boat out here. I really know actually how odd it is to get uh, vegetables and fruits and materials for that. They're incredibly hard to find online, whether they're textures or on Substance Painter and things like that. So I've actually gone and made some in Substance Designer. I've gone and found uh, textures. I've actually created them myself, all these kind of things to actually bring you a really, really nice material pack. So you've got things like uh, cucumbers, garlics, um, sweet corns, we've got pumpkin there, we've got melons, we've got strawberries, and actually some of them, uh, like the mushroom as you can see here, I've actually gone, so that's what you'll see on this actual um, map here, I've gone and actually created the inside of the mushroom as well, um, only on a couple of them, so like the tomato, I've also done it on uh, that one, because I think with those things it's actually important to do that because you might use them um, in that way. Things like the actual um, pineapple and things like that, I've not actually bothered with the leaves and stalks because I know most people, they're quite easy to get hold of or make a material for them, they're very simple, so I've not actually done that, I've kept to the actual main things. I've also made some grapes there as you can see, um, and finally we've got mangoes, peppers, where they've got three different materials. The other thing is you'll notice that um, if you actually open up a new blend file, so I'll just open up my new blend file, so in this blend file, you'll see that I've actually set them up in mine, and you can actually do this as well, where you can set them up where you've actually got them um, assigned. So you've got um, the materials in fruit and vegetable material pack, and then you can simply just drop them on um, ease, very, very easily, just drop them on and change them on the fly like so. So really, really easy to actually use them. So in the material pack that you download, when you've actually unzipped it, you will end up with something like this. And you'll see you've actually got an image of what it looks like. You also will have um, all of the texture maps. So if you want to take these into um, Unreal Engine, or you want to bring them into Maya or something like that, they're very, very easy to do that. So you do get over 100 texture maps as well, actually, with this pack. Now, moving on, if you go to any of these, so let's come to this carrot, for instance, you will see they're all set up. Um, with actually an ambient occlusion. Everything's set up for you. Um, normally on them, we haven't got a displacement on most of them. On some of them, there is a displacement, so you could actually use that if you wanted to. But most of them, they just have an ambient occlusion, and we can change them, as you can see, on the fly. So I've actually got that in. A few of them as well, um, like, uh, I think it's, uh, let's have a look, is it a pineapple? have actually a gamma as well in there, so you can make them as bright or as light as you actually want. So there's a lot of options to actually change them on the fly. Now if you are interested in getting your hands on these and all of the other materials that we do, then just head on over to any of the links down below and most of them will have all these on. So you can see this one's on my ArtStation store and you can see how many things are actually on here. But more importantly, if we just go to resources for instance, you will see when it actually loads up, so let's let it load up, that we've actually got a ton of resources and although some are paid for, many of them, many of them are actually free. So you can see we have some really nice uh, materials. Some of them are procedural, um, some of them are for Unreal Engine 5, um, some of them are for Substance Painter and things like that. So many, many options there. All right, everyone. So as I say, this is the last material pack I'm going to do for a while. So check out the links down below. And if you want to support the channel or you want to get a load of free stuff, then check out our Patreon link as well. All right, everyone. So I hope to see you on the next one. No more material packs, I promise. Not for a while anyway. Happy modeling, everyone. Bye-bye.